Hello, everybody. I am back. The dragon's lair is here. I am the truth playing as Arya in our adventure, D&D adventure series. This is episode two, otherwise known as session one. Last session was session zero. Getting our bearings, uh, discovering where and where we couldn't do and establishing a few rules and the gameplay, as you do in the first D&D game. But now it's come to my attention, I have uh, here and discovered that folly has bequeathed my play. And that is uh, that I have iron tools. Arya is not a... Forge smith. No, she is not a smith. Uh, she can't work with metal. No, she can work with wood and she can work with leather. That is Arya. So, having iron tools at this day and age is uh, just forbidden without a proper smith. What? Uh, I can't progress further without a smith. So, we have to build a town. We have to get a smith, and I am. In the middle of the night, because uh, what better way to ritually sacrifice your iron tools than the risk of danger and exploding? So that's where we're going to toss in all our iron. And we're going to scream as we run all the way back to our home. Ah! So I was running down and the sun set. So obviously, I, I climbed on top of a tree. It wasn't to escape zombies or anything. No, I would never. You don't, what you're hearing below is nothing but your imagination. Anyways, I think I think we have a plan. With the setting sun, you know, the beach is nice. But there was an alcove up on the hill. I think I'm going to set up up there. So I'll meet you guys up there. Whatever it is. No! Oh! Oh, boy. <laughs> I survived that. Okay. Well, uh, this is proving to be a heartless journey already. So I think today will be an adventure day. Uh, it'd be nice to get someone here, but I don't want to work with just Spruce. As much as I love Spruce, we don't have very many resources, and we have to start building. We have to get a smith before we can go anywhere. Um, so we're, that's, that's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, farm up some resources, maybe try and make this place a little a little bit more safe if you will other than that there's not much I can do I'll probably uh, check in with you guys later so uh, I'm gonna probably begin building the inn since we need this thing up and running really quickly so I'm gonna go one two three four five bam and drop down Yes, essentially, essentially, this is going to be our inn, the entrance to our inn. You come in here, there'll be like a receptionist or someone, you know, probably a downstairs, we'll build something down there, and then you walk this way, I guess, or we'll have something going, the stairs, I think stairs going down into the cave system, and that's where all the different rooms are, will be in the cave, you know, you walk around through the cave. So how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect length, actually. And that will be the supports to our building. <laughs> and obviously we're going to be building a little bit definitely gonna have Bruce with blanks be our accent uh, or accented choice 
we'll have double doors right here. And now we got some walls going on. Oh, actually, we don't we don't want to lose the caviness of our build. So we're not going to actually have any of these walls on the outside or in the inside, rather just to frame the outside. I have brought peace, security to my new inn. Yes, uh, so we have one wall complete. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad now. Uh, so I think next off is probably mining. Mining is a little obsolete for at the moment since we just we're building with wood. So it might be good to go out exploring. So I'm going to go head out and explore into the world. I forget about this. We didn't even loot the chest. Unbreaking too? Uh, yes, sure. We'll take it all. I hear things coming. And like that, I'm out. Talio! And off we go to sail the ocean blue. So we'll probably montage the exploration here. Oh, wait. Oh, we can shoot this fool. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. I don't know he sunk. Oh, I got him. We have a whole single bone. Well, the, our arrow's gone to the mistress of the sea. I didn't know this guy was here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Wanderer. And what have you to trade? Trash. <laughs> I don't have anything to trade, actually. All of that would be nice. All of it. So let's go take a uh, seafaring trip around our where we are. Hold on. Definitely want to check our coordinates first. And... Now that those are saved, let's go check out where we are. So up ahead we see uh, it appears to be an ocean temple. Very nice. Oh, is it dolphin? I want to capture one. <laughs> capture the dolphins. Ooh, you know, you know, I want to capture every mob in the game. Hello. We'll call it Project Pokemon. <laughs> the Pokemon. We'll play Pokemon in Minecraft. And capture every single mob. Put them on display in a museum. That's definitely later on in the road. Is that a temple I see over there? Or is that the top of a village? They changed the villages. It is a village! Oh, would you look at that? We can... We can find someone to... <laughs> and we can... Hopefully it has like a smith who has some tools in there for us. Because we can't, we can't stay here. I mean, we technically could, but I don't want to. So we need a, f we need a forge at our place to make tools around the regular basis, which is probably better off. But there's definitely beds, oh, wheat. So this village is kind of small. It's kind of sad. So I think we're going to trap the villagers in here just to protect them. Yes, go inside your pathetic home where you will live. You too will live in there. You're trapped. It seems cool at first, but this is the on this is the sad reality. This is what we must do to protect the people. And my humble savior. This is survival out here. Scavenging for food. Mmm, bacon. I'm sorry, pig. But you are too delicious. It'd be nice to have shears. <laughs> but too bad. I would like to save two cows. Don't make this harder than it has to be. There's two here, so I will, rem I will keep the two cows here. You know, I just remembered I can't be killing things with an axe. I have to kill them with the bow. I completely forgot already. I'm really bad at this whole... <laughs>
playing this by rules correctly. Uh, it's quite difficult. I think I chose one of the harder weapons. <laughs> I mean, come on. Become what I need you to become. That is wool. Hey, fishes. I don't have to punch the fishes again. I do like fish, but I cannot be resorting to fish punching. That's a little barbaric. Good thing we have bread, so now we can make it back home. All right, so I decided I want to capture. I want to capture him. I've named him Charles. Come along, Charles. We are going out to the ocean. He's coming back with me. I like how he's sideways on the boat. <laughs> uh, he's like a nice, like a backrest. Like I can lean back. Ah, thank you, Charles. Thank you, such a kind gentleman. Come here, pumpkin. Hello, hello, hello. I'm not abandoning you, Charles. I'm just harvesting. Scavenging for food. Anything else that I can. Mm. You think Charles has any uh, problems with his kin and that's why he was so willing to leave? Maybe he's, you know, maybe he got into a large fight. Ooh, a forest. Perfect. Maybe Charles got into a large fight with his family. And he's like, I'm leaving. Good riddance. I'm going with this fellow person. You know, I understand you, Charles, leaving the family. It's difficult. And you had a great fight. And now if he sees them again, oh, they're going to have beef. Oh, oh, oh my god, that came out of nowhere. That was terrifying. Aha, we, have, we are back home. The traitor is still there? Dude, get a life, man. Sorry, Charles, we're gonna have to leave you here permanently. So I don't want you wandering around where you're not supposed to. See, he agreed with me. Uh -huh. Hey there, good boy. Hi, how are you? Ah, almost at him. I think, I think, uh,. We have nine arrows. This is why we don't want those stupid rose bushes anywhere. Get out of here. The horrible, terrible things. Terrible. All right, here's an update, guys. So I've been building a little bit on the interior here. Uh, I kind of want to have the door be a little lopsided here. So you kind of come up and... The door is a little lopsided, so you come in this way. I'm probably going to bring this back out one more block or so. Oops. Let me get that back up. Put that right there. You come up. It's a little lopsided. You come in, and you can you come into the cave. You know, this is the reception area. They're like, oh, welcome. You want to purchase a room? Yada, yada, yada. And then you're like, oh, I'm just here to eat, you know. And then you can go through these doors. These doors will come over into the bar area and we'll put that over here and then if they're like you want a room we have the cave rooms down there or we'll have two entrances probably one to come up you know right into the bar area and then one directly from right here so you can go down into the caves right into the inn i think that'll be pretty easy to do so obviously i'm lacking in oak wood so i'm gonna go ahead out there to the brave wilderness see if we can go find another cow and a uh, bunch of oak wood oh oh no run baby oh no <laughs> i don't have any armor so <laughs> it's kind of very scary going out there oh yeah we laddies we barge on the barge on our tiny little rowboat and we row across the ocean. What in the world is that thing? Hold on. <laughs> Distractions, of course. What is this? I'm, I don't want to go down there because I don't want to find any drowned, but I'm going to go down there. Well, there's a drowned. 
Hey, buddy. Whoa. That thing's sick. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry, buddies. I, as much as I don't want to play with you, I don't. <laughs> so we're going to come over here to the dark oak forest. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, uh, I'll be here for a while. Collecting dark oak and regular oak. I just realized we have a buried treasure map <laughs> that we haven't looked at. So I might want to go check that out. That would be kind of cool to do. So seeing this uh, key over here, open quay, whatever uh, peninsula thing place, uh, I just remembered that I totally forgot to go look for buried treasure. That might be something fun to do. Uh, so it's probably a good idea if I go over there. I don't know where it is. <laughs> So I'm about to head back. Uh, here's our loot here. I picked up some coal and about four stacks of oak wood and just about just about three stacks of dark oak. Oh, no, that's spruce. Two stacks of dark oak. Uh, decent haul. I broke three uh, stone axes, which is basically like a whole iron pick a whole iron axe uh, i don't want you to ask me about it please don't it was tiring i've clear-cutted a like that entire hill over there you can see it over in that area uh there's definitely a little bit more i want to clear cut uh, i do like preserving the scenery so i pro but it's a good thing that we're not living there because that place is going to be gone. But we're going to head home so I can hopefully add some rooms and a little bit more stuff for our inn. You know, over on the highs, and there it is. All right, I'll be right over there in just a second. All right, we're back. So uh, let's get to building. So, to anyone who thought I was actually going to do two doors, wow, wow, you were wrong. Uh, no, I thought I was, but bringing it out, I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of doing that. Uh, I need dirt so I can fill that in. Always fill in your creeper holes, you know. Otherwise, you're going to have mobs or something going on up there. We don't want, we don't want some weird old, weird old mobs. I see a hooligan. This is actually kind of concerning. Oh! Oh boy. I uh, don't have that many arrows. This is actually quite concerning. <laughs> We're going to do some guerrilla warfare over here. Oh, he's found me. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, this guy is... He's fast. He's a fast fool. You ready to get wrecked, nerd? Oh, you fool. You have come into range. Oh. Oh boy, <laughs> uh, this is not good, because those crossbows are going to hit real hard. <laughs> ah, how am I going to deal with him? <laughs> I did not, I did not foresee this in my plans. No, 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 no. No, this was not planned. Okay, buddy. Uh, I definitely, I'm not, I'm gonna get out of my sleeping bag. I'm gonna sleep out with the turtles. 
and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. See the sunset, the turtles, sugar canes, all good. And hopefully, maybe, maybe he's gone. No, he's still there. Ah, man. Old times to not have any arrows or literally anything <laughs> do it this fool with. Ah. So here's the deal. We're going to sneak around. Hopefully his partner in crime isn't up on the hill. I got to get the high ground. Unfortunately for him, a master of the high ground can work with the low ground as well. And we're going to boop, boop. There. <laughs> and we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to sit here and just make a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of a uh, flint until further noticed. All right. I've got arrows. Oh, where is he? I know he's low. Actually, if we go down here, we could probably, unless he, unless he skedaddled, skedoodled, that would be optimal. I don't see him. That's good. That's very good. Coast is clear. It seems that he's like, ah, nothing, nothing to see. Perfect. That's exactly what we want them to think. That no one is here. That uh, they're just, that I'm just stopping by. Just wait. I have a, I think I have a name for the inn. It's a great name. You guys are going to love it. You'll never have heard a better name in all of life. Other than that, I have to say our measly little home is coming along nicely. Well, it's not really a home. Our inn is coming along very nice. So, uh, back to building angle. So we return once more, and this is basically the lobby of the inn. I think it's pretty spacious, fairly nice. I'm gonna set up a simple counter, and I think we're gonna use dark oak for our for our woodwork here. Probably need that a little bit down the line, but that's okay. Just do a little simple countertop here. Doot doot. And I actually, I think it'd look nice if we Split it down the middle like so. Added that. Like that. And then we can put that right there. Yeah, I do like that. Oop, actually, I think we'll bring it out one. Like that. Just to match. How it works. Yeah, you come in. Yep, I like that. That's pretty nice. Mm, on contrary, or nope. <laughs> we want a little bit of a gap there. Want to see that? Yeah. 
I like that a little bit more. There we go. So now you can, uh, you come in, you're like, ah, I would like one room. And they'd be like, ah, oh, of course, one room. Right this way, right over there. All right, I'm gonna, I plan to add another entrance this way, which kind of, which snakes around down into cave. I think there's a cave. I don't know how far it snakes over. So that's something we're gonna have to investigate. Uh, that's basically the start of the inn. So I think we're gonna end that, our building today. A bit of a buildy episode, a bit of adventure. These beginning adventures and builds are gonna be a little bit slow, it's okay. And we can soon get into very fun stuff, like hopefully finding a villager, kidnapping, the, I mean, indoctrinate, I mean, telling them to come visit our inn and to stay here forever. And build a house and a forge so I can get iron tools and force them, I mean, ask them to do honest labor. Aha. It seems there is a fool down in the water. Don't worry. I'll deal with him off screen. Until then, pizza.